Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install DWM on Ubuntu and Pop! OS. Now, this process should be perfectly similar between these two operating systems because Pop! OS is just a derivative of Ubuntu, so everything should be exactly the same. I'm going to be doing this on Pop! OS, so we're going to see because I've not actually done this on Pop! OS before. I've done it on Ubuntu a couple times, so we're going to, this is going to be uh, an experiment. So, Let's jump over to my Pop! OS install. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up a terminal. And this is just GNOME terminal and we'll zoom in here so that you can actually see it and make it bigger. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install some dependencies. So we're going to want to make sure, especially if you're using a headless version of uh, Ubuntu of some kind, you're going to want to make sure you have a few packages installed. So you're going to want to do sudo apt install. And we're going to dev essential, build essentials installed. Build dash essentials. You probably already have this. This is just going to basically install make uh, and a few other things. Um, we're going to want to do lib x11 dash dev. Okay, and we're going to want to do lib zinorama dash dev. And I believe share utils is actually depreciated. No, nope, it's still there. Good. Um, and then we're going to want to do lib xft dash dev. And I believe that's it. We might be missing one. We're going to fi find out because. Depending on what tutorial you look at online, you'll find different dependencies. So we won't know until we make we make it for the first time whether or not. Okay, so build essentials is not available because I probably spelled it wrong. Yep, that's because there's no s. There's no s. Okay, there we go. We'll wait for the install. Shouldn't be too, shouldn't take too very long. Now what we're going to want to do is make a folder where we're going to put everything. So we're going to want to do cd.config. Okay, and then we're going to make directory. DW, or actually what we're going to do is make directory suckless. Because DWM is not going to be the only suckless utility we install here. So we're just going to make directory suckless and then cd into that directory. And now we're going to want a, a web browser. Open up Firefox, your favorite web browser, and navigate to suckless.org. Org. Yep. And we'll zoom in a bit here so you can actually see. First, we'll want DWM. And we'll scroll down here until it gives us the thing we need. We just copy and paste this underneath development. Oops. Just Control C and then Control Shift V. Oh, you're going to want to actually, I'm sorry, we're not quite there yet. We're going to want to make sure we have a couple other things installed. sudo apt install git wget and curl. Looks like those are already installed on the system. They may or may not be for you. You just want to, especially Git, you're going to need Git for sure. Now we can Control V, Control Shift V, and clone that. That's going to take a minute. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is go back up over here and go to ST and scroll down here to development again. Copy and paste, copy this. Paste, oh. Yep, we're going to want to make sure we're still in the suckless folder and paste that command and wait for that. So that's going to be the terminal that uh, is a dependency for DWM unless you've changed the code. So like I've changed the code in mine to be termite. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to go ahead and use ST. And then the last thing we're going to want to do is D menu. So we're going to go to tools, D menu, and then we'll copy and paste this right here. Again, this is one of those things that you have to have in order to use DWM. So we'll do that. Now we want to do, go into CD DWM and we'll do an LS here. We got some stuff here. We, we have not made this yet. So we're going to go ahead and make and make install this. We'll see if we've gotten all the dependencies or not. So we do just do make. It made fine. So sudo make install and worked just fine okay and we're going to cd into 
the ST folder. Okay, and we do another LS. We got some stuff here. We do a make and a sudo make install. That made just fine. So we're going to CD into the DW or the D menu one, D menu. And we do an LS. And again, we have a whole bunch of stuff here. And we do make that made just fine and sudo make install. And again, that is done fine. Now, honestly, we're done. All we have to do now is get to the point where we can actually find DWM in the login manager. And we do that by going to C. We're just going to see into our home directory here. Okay. And we're going to want to now, if like I said, if you're on a headless directory, this is going to be or a headless installation of Ubuntu. This is going to be a little bit different because you're probably not going to have this directory, but we're going to want to CD into user. So USR slash share slash X sessions. Okay. Now, if you do not have that, like, which is probably only going to be if you're running a headless version, which means without a, uh, a desktop environment already installed. If you already have a desktop environment already started, you're going to have this because you're going to have a login manager of some kind. So if we do an LS right here, we'll just see that right now all we have in there is the pop.desktop. That's the only desktop environment that would be available to you upon login if you didn't change it. So what we're going to want to do is sudo touch dwm.desktop okay now if we do an ls there's a dwm here and we want to uh, either vim or nano into this if you've never used vim just go ahead and use nano i'm going to use vim dwm.desktop and actually you need to make sure you're using this as root priv for root privileges so this is going to make sure you sudo vim dwm.desktop oh vim is not actually installed in this system i didn't even know that sudo apt install Vim. Yes. You can't. Why Vim is not installed by default? I mean, that's just travesty. Anyway, so we can do sudo vim uh, dwm.desktop. Okay. Now we're going to want to type this exactly. So we're going to want to do brackets. Oops. Excuse me. Insert mode bracket desktop. Make sure you spell this all right. Entry. I will paste this into the video description below. Uh, so that you can just copy and paste this if you want. I don't have copy and paste set up between this and the virtual machine, my, the virtual machine and my regular machine, so I'm gonna have to type it out manually, which is fine. The next thing you want to do is encoding, coding equals UTF dash eight. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is name equals DWM. And yes, it's capitalized the way it's you know it's supposed to be capitalized. Uh, comment equals the dynamic window manager. Oops. Okay. And then the exec equals DWM. Okay. And icon equals DWM. And type equals X session. And then you're going to want to make sure you put a space after the end of it. Okay. Whenever you're writing a configuration file from scratch, always leave a space at the end because sometimes it needs it. Sometimes it doesn't. It's always just better to leave it there just in case. Okay. And I'm going to uh, make sure I go went through and, and typed all this correctly. Encoding E N C O D I N G U T F eight. Yep. Name D W M comment equals. Yep. Exec. Yep, icon, yep, and type X session. Yep, okay, and then you're just gonna wanna write and quit this. Okay, now, if we've done everything right, and I think we have, we can close this, and we can close this. Thank you, Firefox, close. And we can log out, and log out here. We should, and you should go back to your display manager, and we type, we click on your name, and down here there's a little icon. You probably can't see it. We just stuck the EWM instead of pop into your password, and bam, you have DWM. Now, if you do now, remember the default key bindings are a little bit different. So I believe that Alt Shift Enter will get you a terminal, which it does. And this is 
this is ST. I cannot zoom in. Actually, I should be able to zoom in. I should be able to do shift page up. Yeah, there we go. Control shift page up is zoom in in, in ST. So as you can see, this is ST, which we installed. Um, Alt and P will get you DWM or get you D menu. So you can actually, so if you want to launch Firefox, you can launch Firefox in that way. And for whatever reason, it installs or automatically opens up on tag nine. You can move it by doing um, mod shift and one or alt shift and one. And now we'll go to one. You got to remember now, if you wanted to change your uh, key bindings. So to close something, it's alt shift and C. Okay. So those alt shift C is to close alt P is D, D, D menu alt shift enter is a number another terminal so alt shift c alt shift q would get you out of dwm completely okay it would just pay, take you back to the login manager all right i'm not going to go through all the processes of changing those key bindings maybe i'll do another tutorial on that someday but this is how you install dwm on ubuntu and pop os it's exactly the same on ubuntu it's actually mostly the same on Arch as well. The only difference is if you're on like an Arch-based distro, you will not have to install those dependencies. They should be there automatically. Uh, it, it will just be a matter of creating your Sucklist directory, get cloning all the, th the three things we needed to clone, adding your X sessions file, and logging out and logging back in. That's literally it. Those are the differences. So that's how you install DWM on Ubuntu and Pop! OS. Easy peasy, right? I can't even begin to tell you how intimidating it felt the first time I tried and completely failed. And honestly, especially on Ubuntu, those three or four dependencies that you have to install are probably the biggest hurdles anybody has on Ubuntu because there's no instructions anywhere that are consistent. There's just not. It's really annoying because no matter what tutorial you find online, they all have slightly different utilities. And like that SU, that, what was it called? The SHAR utils may not be available on Ubuntu and you may not even need them. Um, what I will say is that um, if you go through and make your DWM like I did here and you get an error that says something's missing, it will give you the name of the file, and you should just be able to install that via apt. Uh, it, it, and if it, it's not the exact name, just Google whatever it comes up with, and you should be able to find it just easily. Uh, if you do have problems, leave in the comments below you, what, what problems you're having, and I should be able to be able to walk you through how it differs from what I've done. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter at twitter.com slash linuxcast, facebook.com slash linuxcast. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Uh, again, starting in March, everyone will, tier two and three, will get early access to all of our videos and podcasts. Um, and on that note, I would like to thank Devon C and Marcus B for being our patrons. Thanks, fellas. And uh, I'll see everybody else later. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.